That's kryptonite, Superman. A little souvenir from the old hometown. I've spared no expense to make you feel right at home. So I was just having this amazing conversation with a really good YouTuber friend of mine. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna be selfish. I'm gonna make a video about this and help the entire world. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So all of my videos are designed to help you with your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, we'll start this video with a little bit of story time. Let me introduce you to a friend of mine, a very dear friend of mine. This is Kayla from the channel Panko Bunny, all right? I will provide links to her channel down below. Go check her channel out and subscribe. She makes a ton of amazing, adorable, delicious treats. She also does other kind of recipes. And you'll see through the conversation that we had, like she will be making some more cool content. But anyways, Kayla is on a train right now and me and her were chatting and she was congratulating me on my recent success. Thank you, Kayla. And Kayla's been around like since the beginning, like since I first started my YouTube channel and I had like less than like 500 subscribers, Kayla and I have been talking. She's given me advice and tips because she's been in YouTube for a while. She has like over 60,000 subscribers. She's gigantic over on Instagram and she's helped me a lot, uh, a lot on the way. And we were just having a conversation because she was congratulating me on the success. And I'm like, girl, like one of my missions in life is to get Kayla to a 100,000 subscribers. So I try to chat with her and toss her and ideas and brainstorm and we're gonna get you there girl we're gonna get you that silver play button anyways um she was talking about it and i was just giving her ideas like i'm always trying to figure out you know obviously like what what can i do how can i take this topic everybody's talking about and use it to bring in a, a new audience and find things that people can relate to right so kayla with her niche in food i'm like how can how can she do this so i started tossing around ideas with her and she she told me that she's worried about being a sellout right and that's why i was like girl girl I'm like, you know what our kryptonite is? Do you know what our kryptonite is? Ego and fear. Those things are our kryptonite, right? So we're talking about this, and I'm gonna touch on this again later uh, because she has a she has a healthy fear. She's afraid. Her version of selling out. She's worried about making videos or getting brand deals for stuff that she doesn't really believe in. Absolutely, absolutely. One of the themes throughout this video, um, when I tell you guys to quit caring so much about what people think, it's that you always gotta check in with your moral compass. That's the way that you overcome your ego and your fears, okay? But anyways, as Kayla and I were talking, like this is definitely something that holds a bunch of YouTubers back, but it's probably holding a bunch of you back as well. So something that I learned when I started working on my mental health is that my ego is my worst enemy. My ego is something that kept me in my addiction. My ego is something that kept me angry. My ego is something that held me back from being truly happy. And what's ego? What is this ego thing? There's a great book that I'm, I'm trying to find the time to read, uh, but until I get to that book and make a review of it, like check out this short clip from Alpha and Omega. The, the ego creation wants and seeks the approval from the outside. It wants to be fed by likes. It wants to be fed by following. It wants to be fed by people feeding your, you know, oh, you're good. Well, that whatever you just produced or that that's beautiful, that's great. Yeah, I think that you're really worthy now. The thing is that what if it's taken away from you? Bingo, right there. So our ego, it's fed by these things, this uh, this social status, right? All of you have heard me say, all of you have heard me say how much I hate social hierarchies because these are things that held me back for so long. Not so much social hierarchies because those are gonna be around no matter what I do, but me caring about my social status is something that killed me. And think about how much is killing you too, right? Think about how you think that you have to have a certain car or certain clothes or a certain job or a certain amount of money or a certain house, all these different things, the way you gotta look on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, all these things that are based on your ego, how you want the world to perceive you because you care so much about what people think, right? So when I was talking to Kayla, like part of this, this whole sell out thing, like we're worried about what people are gonna think about us, right? Like. The only reason, the only reason my channel is starting to have an incline is because I got rid of that. I got rid of um, the ego aspect. I got rid of the fears, right? Um, and you've been seeing me trudge through it. And like, I hope you guys see underlying messages with my videos of who I am and what I'm doing. Like, you will see that I give less than zero f 
about some of the comments out there, right? Like I have people who have commented in my uh, YouTube comments and they said, oh Chris, I've been with you since the beginning before you started making you videos about YouTubers. By the way, if you want some more details on that, watch my last Patreon Q&A. But like, yeah, my ego might have held me back and like, welcome back to Tough Love Chris. Like, here's the thing, here's the thing. Like, me being cool is not gonna get me anywhere. Me like caring like, oh yeah, I don't care, I don't care. Like, in my treatment center, do you know how many times I gave tough love to the people in my addiction treatment center? There are so many people, young people, young men, young women, even older men and older women, they spend their entire treatment episode trying to look cool and then they go back out and relapse. Some of them even pass away, right? So your need to feel cool, to look cool to other people, like, where's that gonna get you? I did that for a long time. I was like, oh, I gotta be cool. I gotta look cool. I gotta put on the, this persona, this facade. And all it did was keep me sick. All it did was keep me sick. Like, <laughs> I think, I think unless like I'm just in a bubble, I think we're out of the hipster phase, but wasn't that the problem with hipsters? Like, oh yeah, like I'm just so cool. I'm so cool that I don't do trendy things, uh, right? Like what, what are you talking about? Like I used to be that guy. Like I'm the kind of guy where I could tell you stories about how like I interviewed Fallout Boy before they got big. Like we inter uh, interviewed Fallout Boy when their tickets were only $10, right? And then they quote unquote sold out. Screw it, good for them. I love those guys, sell out all you want. You know what I mean? Um, because like selling out is something that we gotta think of. And by the way, quick plug, speaking of selling out, you want this cool shirt, you wanna be my twinsy? Head over to the Rewired Soul merch store and get yourself one. Anyways, back to selling out. Like what's selling out and what are the pros and cons? By the way, have any of you uh, ever heard that song by Real Big Fish, Sell Out? Great song, I loved it, I used to be a little ska kid. Anyways, um, what is selling out? Like, selling out is kind of what I think Kayla's fear is. Backing brands that she doesn't believe in, you know what I mean? And and putting, putting on this fake show, this is something that's been going on in the beauty community. Like, saying they love this product or like this product. Like, we sell out when we promote things for money, this is one way to sell out, we promote things for money and we don't really believe in them, we don't really back them, we make up lies like, oh, I've loved this product forever, and all of that, right? And like, that's the thing, like, I've gotten flack about better help. That's a great example. My ego gives zero f once again. You know why? Because I check in with my moral compass. I am not latched on to better help because of my affiliate links. I am not uh, latched onto them because of that. I am latched onto them because I truly believe within the depths of my soul that they are a good, good company. You know why? Because my girlfriend has benefited from their services. Udo from Positively Udo has benefited from their service. A lot of people from my channel have benefited from my services. But, but if I cared about what other people thought, I wouldn't promote a service that could possibly help people because I'm so worried about what you're thinking and that affects my ego. My ego is this monster inside of me that can change who I am and make me do things that destroy my mental health. So now let's talk about the second piece of kryptonite that destroys our mental health. Fear, our fears, right? So now that we've identified the ego, okay, this thing that is fed by social status and what people think of us, now we can start looking at these as fears, right? Fear of not being liked, right? Fear of being judged, fear of not being accepted. For YouTubers, fear of losing subscribers, fear of bad comments. Think about these things. Think about all of these fears. And I'm somebody with a generalized anxiety disorder, so something I've had to do to manage my anxiety and this crazy thing up here is to walk through fears and really identify these fears and saying, are these rational or in irrational fears, right? Things that affect my ego are not things that I need to be afraid of. You know what I need to be afraid of? Like, things that can cause uh, health problems to myself, to my son, to Tristan, to my loved ones, to the planet, right? But if Joe Schmo 576 in my comment section doesn't like what I'm doing, peace out, Joe. You know what I mean? Like we need to start separating our fears and saying, is this something I should be afraid of? Like I have so many YouTuber friends, so many YouTuber friends who like tell me all these things they're afraid of doing for losing subscribers or what their subscribers are going to think and all of this. And, I, and again, this goes back to your moral compass. It goes right back to your moral compass. If you are staying true, right? If you are doing things with the proper motives and the proper intentions, yes, you're gonna lose people along the way. Sorry, you think I haven't lost people along the way? Of course I have, but look at how many more people I'm helping as well. You see what I mean? So like, 
And this is some more tough love. Like, I have no pity for you. I have no sympathy for you. If you're letting your fear of numbers, your fear of likes, your fear of comments, if you're letting those things run your life, I don't feel sorry for you, right? Because what happens is, is that people stay stuck in the problem and they don't move to the solution. It's really easy for YouTubers or even us as people to say, oh, society's keeping us down or oh, the algorithm's keeping us down. Like, don't get me wrong. Society and the algorithm of YouTube definitely have their problems, but what good does it do when we focus on those problems? Why don't we start moving towards a solution? So that's what I'm saying. I don't feel sorry for anybody, anybody who is letting the fears of subscribers or likes determine their success in life. You see what I mean? Because that's something I, I wouldn't want you to feel bad for me. That's on me. You know what I mean? It's not on them. It's on me. So how do you keep your fears and your egos in check? Something I mention all the time, I'm gonna mention it again, mindfulness. Mindfulness, mindfulness, mindfulness. Whenever thoughts come in my head, right, I'm able to sit down and notice. All mindfulness is, is noticing. It's slowing down. As you know, I have a lot of energy, but I slow down and I'm like, where is this thought coming from? Where is this fear coming from? Is this from my ego? right? Is this a rational or irrational fear? Because a lot of us, what happens is we let our minds get the best of us and just run away. And they turn these small things into gigantic things because we don't catch them soon enough. All right. But the more we practice mindfulness, the more we can catch these things. So now I can catch this thing and say, okay, is this my ego? What are my motives? What are my intentions? Am I really selling out? Am I doing something with the wrong motives, with the wrong intentions? Am I supporting something bad? just so I can make a dollar off of it? Oh wait, no. I'm actually trying to help people. I'm trying to spread my message a little bit more. I'm trying to entertain people, right? I'm trying to support my child. I'm trying to do these things. Does that make sense? So whatever it is, mindfulness will help you slow down and start acknowledging the ego and the fear, okay? So anyways, that's what I got. Again, go check out Kayla. We need to get Kayla, AKA Panko Bunny, to 100,000 subscribers. It is one of my goals in life, all right? And she is going to be doing a lot of cool new content. We've tossed around some ideas. This is also a great way for you to help me keep her accountable, okay? So go subscribe to her channel so we can watch and we can see if she tries to put some new things in motion, all right? But let me know, let me know down in the comments below, how do you feel that your ego, right, and your fears affect your mental health? Okay, what are your fears of social status and what people are gonna think of you? How much is that controlling your life? But you know how we do. Also tell me about the solution down in the comments below. All right, but that's all I got for you with this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And again, if you would like to sell out with me, Go pick up yourself some Rewired Soul merch by clicking or tapping on that icon right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. Get your ego in check, and I'll see you next time.